Hey folks, welcome to the channel. My name is Three Chord Dave, and today we're talking about the five most expensive guitars on reverb. S some people be crazy. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Make sure, please, you hit that subscribe button and the like button. Uh, come and join us on 3 Dave Live. We do it on a Saturday. It's a lot of fun. If you like talking about guitars with people who are cool and me, then you can uh, you can do that. It's 3 Dave Live at every Saturday, 10 p.m. Irish time. Just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we go live. Come and join us, have a lot of fun. It's all, honestly, it's great crack. So do join us for that. Now, I got to thinking this afternoon, I wonder what the most expensive guitars on reverb are and they surprised me because the first one in particular, the most expensive guitar, we're gonna start with the most expensive guitar. And by the way, there's a bonus one at the end of the video and I just, I, could you please tell me what's going on with this bonus one? It's flipping ridiculous. So if you please stick around and check out the bonus one and be like, Dave, what the hell? So the most expensive guitar on reverb today is a Schecter PT SLS Elite Black Fade Bursts. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. This dude wants 588,796,078 cents. That's in US dollars, by the way. Uh, $588,000 for uh, a Schecter PTSLS Elite Black Fade Burst. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like a, this isn't like a 2,000, is it, is it $2,000? I. I'm literally flabbergasted, a word I like but do not get to use so often, but I, how? How is this? How is he looking for that much money for this guitar? And not only that, he would prefer to trade the guitar to keep his electronics, uh, the, the pickups and the electronics for some reason, and, and just get a husk of a guitar. So trade husks, trade for what he calls an empty guitar. So you keep your electronics and just trade them a guitar. 500, what's he looking to trade for? Uh, uh, Les Paul Burst? <laughs> 59 bursts? Um, uh, yeah, so anyway, high-pitched voice because I'm so confused at what's going on. Um, please tell me what I'm missing in this one because I do not understand. Uh, it's like, to me, it's like, that's a $2,000 guitar at best. Am I, what am I missing? Is it is it signed by Jesus? Uh, anyway, rolling on. <laughs> now, guitar number two is, a, is actually a rare guitar that I think is, I, it should be expensive. Should it be as expensive as it is? I don't know. But it's a Bigsby standard semi-hollow, um, semi-hollow body electric guitar. Now, these are cool, from about 1958. And yes, Bigsby, who made the tremolos, who make the tremolos. Uh, Paul A. Bigsby was the man behind the, the whole deal, designed it and made these guitars himself. And um, he made pickups and stuff like that as well. Two of them are the single coils that are in this guitar, hand wound by Paul Bigsby himself. And I think this is a nice guitar. It's um, it's a cool piece of guitar history, I think. I don't particularly like the guitar. I don't think it's a lovely looking guitar or anything, but it is an interesting one. Uh, would I pay $550,000 for this guitar? No, no, I would not. However, they did drop the price by 200,000. So anyway, there you go. It's a Bigsby guitar from 1958. It's, it's, just because it's not from 1958 doesn't mean it's worth that much money. But anyway, that's the second most expensive guitar on reverb at this moment in time. The third most expensive is kind of what I expected to be the most expensive guitar. It's a 1959 Les Paul Burst. That you expect to be expensive. The Holy Grail, right? And that's what the, this person pretty much repeats over and over in the ad. The most expensive uh, Holy Grail, most uh, needed, all that sort of stuff. $475,000. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> it's all original. It's in amazing condition, this one. Looks to be almost pristine, like very, very good condition. Um, it did have a Bigsby in installed. Bigsby's coming back in a big way, uh, twice on the list mentioned already. So yeah, I did have a Bigsby installed and I checked out the pictures. I went through in detail, trying to find the, the holes that the, would have been drilled for the Bigsby. Can't, can't see them. I don't know how they've managed to do it, but you can't see them. Um, the description box does say you need a black light to find them. So I don't know, I couldn't see them myself. Really, really good. Uh, looks very cool. If you want to throw $475,000 down on a guitar, this is very nice. So uh, yeah, it's a 59 burst. The Holy Grail, if you want one, there's, there is one. 
So there you go. Uh, number four, it's kind of a sad thing that this is listed because it's a guitar owned by Chris Cornell. It's his Gretsch Tennessean. It was used in the music video for Rusty Cage and Chris Cornell played this on tour. And it was apparently one of his favorite guitars and he kept it in his home studio where he would record stuff. Um, his, his, the cover album that was released by his family last year, I believe, was, was recorded. He would have used this on some of the songs there. Uh, River City Guitars are trying to sell this for $395,000. That's a lot of dollars for this guitar, for a Gretsch Tennessee and uh, very, little other, very little other details. $105,000 of a price drop though. So if you think about it, you're saving $105,000 instead of spending $395,000. Um, it, it comes with loads of documents and stuff to prove that it was Chris Cornell's guitar. I just wish Chris Cornell was still playing it. So yeah, it's a bit of a sad one, but uh, if you want to pick up Chris Cornell's guitar, you can. Number five uh, is a really nice 1960 Les Paul Burst. Uh, also a celebrity owner on this one, Tony Hicks of the Hollies. Uh, very nice, looks in great condition. Uh, looks, to, I mean, it's a very nice example. This one will cost you $378,000 uh, and also $557. So $378,557 and 17 cents. That's a lot of dollars and cents but it's a nice 1960 Les Paul. I'd go with that one over the 59, just, I just prefer it, that's just me. Really pretty example of this one. But let's, let's just talk about this bonus for a minute, because <laughs> I, this is, I think I might be on punked or something, or um, I don't, this, is, this isn't real. It might be, it might be a setup, I don't know. But um, <laughs> I have in my notes some, I use a different word for person. I used a, a rude word because that's what I was going to say initially. I'm just going to say person this time. Some person is trying to sell a signed Joe Bonamassa Epiphone ES355 from 2018 for $250,000. <laughs> $250,000. Uh, yeah, so Joe Bonamassa obviously has his Epiphone signature come out every single year. And he always has signed versions available uh, on his live shows. The, you know, the, the merch uh, desk or whatever he has where he sells his t-shirts and caps and watering cans, uh, thingy mabobs, all the stuff, all the Joe merch also have guitars and he signs the pick guard because that's removable and you can change it if you don't want his squiggle on your guitar. Uh, usually charges an extra couple of hundred dollars. So these guitars cost $999 when they were released in 2018. They're beautiful, I really like them. I, I kind of regret not picking one of these up back in the day, but here we are. Joe Bonamassi sells his guitars with an extra $200 on for a signature. So you're gonna, at his show, you would pay 1,200 maybe, 11, 1,200 for these. And this guy decided he'd sell it on Reverb for $250,000. I don't know what's going on. And what am I missing on this one, guys? Like, I, I only see Joe Bonamassa signing it. I don't see it signed by anyone else. I don't know, is, is there drug money involved? Is it a, are they doing something? I don't understand this guitar being that price. So if you can help me out and let me know, I think it's, I think it's batshit, but there you go. Um, uh, yeah, there might be, maybe they're trying to get the most expensive Epiphone of all time. I don't know what that was. Maybe, maybe it's this one now. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. People are absolutely crazy. Uh, I love guitars. I love looking at expensive ones. So let's uh, let's just hope that people are sane. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. It's been super cool. I'll be back with another guitar-related video very soon. But until then, take care, guys.